No, I don't waste no time What's going on guys and welcome back to a new video. Now for those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Joshua Daniel George, a social media marketing online coach. And in this video, I am basically going to give you guys my funnel that will allow you to generate uh, 10,000 or 10K a month on autopilot. Now, quick disclaimer before we actually get started. The reason why I've called this on autopilot is because we're going to be leveraging paid traffic for our agency rather than doing manual outreach okay so that is why it's called an autopilot this does not mean that you will get quick uh, rich quick or rich overnight or anything like that you know obviously manual effort is needed to keep this flow running and so on and so forth so if you want to get rich quick or get rich overnight or anything like that then this is not the video nor the channel for you okay now with that said and with that out of the way what we're going to be doing in today's video is like I said, you know, I'm literally going to give you guys the funnel that I have used, you know, for my own agency to get clients through paid traffic. And before we actually show you guys, or before I actually show you guys, you know, how this flow is set up, I just want to basically give you guys a bit of background on why I've gone for this particular flow and why other flows no longer work or don't really work in general. Okay, another quick disclaimer, uh, before we actually begin, there's no point in trying to find my uh, agency on the Facebook ad library, not like that, because unfortunately, the brand near Facebook page is banned as well as my personal profile. So uh, you will not be able to find it basically. But with that said, what we did prior to the funnel that we ran is, uh, let me just quickly make this pencil a bit bigger so I can actually see it, we'll see what I'm doing. There we go. So we had an advertisement. Uh, and basically the advertisement is to book, to book a call, right? So that is, that is what this funnel is going to be. It's going to be a call funnel. So what we wanted to do was we wanted to get people on a call because what we've noticed is that as soon as we can get someone on a call, our closing rate is one out of three, okay? So currently the way we are in terms of, you know, our sales skills, etc. Um, just the way these calls go in general, one out of three calls is usually a client for us. So we thought, okay, if we know that roughly on average our closing rate is 30%, we just need to get more calls booked because if we can get three calls booked, that's one client. But if we can get 30 calls booked, that is obviously 10 clients. So we started running ads and we ran this to a Facebook lead form. So I'll just call this Facebook FBL. There we go. And the great thing about the Facebook lead form is that the name, the email address, and um, basically, you know, first name, last name, etc., is all automatically filled out, okay? So they don't need to put in any extra effort to add their details. So we were basically getting leads very, very quickly. And what we tried to do is get these people on a call. Now, this funnel did not work. And the reason for that is because, first of all, when we just look, I'll just add a little arrow here. So first of all, they had no information on what the call was about. So there was no incentive from their end to actually attend the call because it was literally ad that says, hey, do you need help with, um, you know, getting more sales for your business, book a call. Uh, or, you know, click here to get a free strategy call. But other than that, there was no information about us. There was no information about what we can do, no information about the service that we're offering and so on and so forth. So there was no information for them and no incentive for them to actually hop on that call. Because the information, etc., was automatically filled out, the quality of the leads that we were attracting was not there either. Because the people that were clicking through, they just saw the shiny advertisement that basically said, hey, you know, would you need more sales or do you want any more money for your business? Book a call. So the quality wasn't necessarily there because they didn't have to put in any effort to fill out the information, which also meant that the calls that we were getting booked, so the quantity of calls was extremely high, okay? So there were so many calls that we were getting booked, which is great, of course, but these people weren't showing up for the calls, the data that they were sending, so their email address, etc., was outdated, so we couldn't get in contact with these people. We tried to find these businesses online, we couldn't find these businesses, so the quantity was too high. There was too many, you know, basically non-qualified leads coming through our flow. 
and then like i said before the effort because everything was automated uh, was not there either so these people were not putting any effort into the flow into you know filling out their details and of course not putting any effort into actually attending these calls so this flow did not work so what we then did was let me just quickly click on pam and then go up what we'll do i'll just keep it like that so what we then did was we started running these to run the ads to a calendar form so we had the advertisement we ran that to calendly so directly to calendly so i'll just calendly there and then basically from there obviously you got the calendly thank you page which i'll just add there as well typ and then we tried to get these people on a call okay now this improved a few metrics for us but it still wasn't the right flow the reason why this improved was because in calendly they have to manually fill out their details so name email address uh, was not automatically filled out because like i said Kali does not have that information the way facebook has so this needs to be manually uh, added to the calendar form which means that they need to put in extra effort okay then and what we also did was we added more questions to qualify that person a bit more so we added for example their websites uh, we wanted to know their budget etc so we started adding all this um, information you know to make sure that people that do actually go through this flow you know are a bit more qualified so they had to put in a bit more effort um, they in terms of the quantity this you know went better because not everyone that clicked on the ad was willing to fill out this form so you know yes there was there was a drop off here but that means that only people of a certain quality will actually increase uh, or will actually go through the rest of the flow okay however in terms of the quality and in terms of the information the quality still wasn't really there because they could still go through this flow relatively easy so despite the fact that yes they need to fill out all this information because they don't really have any information on us and information on what we offer we noticed that people were going through this flow just out of curiosity just to see what would happen if they got to the end of the flow so the information that they had was non-existent they didn't really know what it was about and the qual uh, the quality of the call wasn't really there we got people that um like i said were just interested to see what would happen if they filled out the form the people that booked the call they weren't really interested we also still had a drop off here with calls booked because the people that uh, were going through this flow they didn't really know what it was about so you know they basically got this impulsive urge to book a call but then when it actually got around to you know getting on that call they weren't really bothered because they didn't know what was going on they didn't know you know what is what was about to happen on this call am i going to get pitched something am i going to receive information what is it that the, these guys actually offer and so on and so forth so what we've actually done now move this over again is we've expanded the flow even more so our ad now goes to a landing page and this landing page lp basically gives them information on who we help which is very important because what we've started to do we've started to really focus on just one particular type of client so rather than what we previously did was just say hey you know are you an e-com store that needs to get needs to get more sales then hop on a call we've gone very very niche specific so within e-commerce we've only you know been targeting a specific niche and then on this landing page we basically say hey are you you know part of this particular niche do you want more sales um, you know do you want to make more money with your store um, or your shop then what we can do is we can hop on a call to see if we can help out with regards to leveraging facebook advertisements to get you more sales okay so then from there they've got information they've um basically you know been been qualified because we say we only work with this particular type of business and we also show them case studies and testimonials from previous clients and basically results that we've gotten so these people are much more qualified they have more information on what we do and how we can actually help them from there we send them to the calendly form again so calendly form and then this will be basically get all the information so they opt in by clicking a big button that basically says schedule a free call and then from there they go to the calendly form then from there we send them to a custom thank you page which is another change that we made 
why custom because on the custom thank you page we actually asked them to check us out on social media instagram uh, linkedin etc just so they get to know the business a bit more and we also say that the calls are hosted on zoom if they want any other method of getting in contact with us um, for example whatsapp audio facetime audio then they need to basically email us and uh, let us know then from there we get them on a call okay and what we've now noticed is that the effort they need to put in is much more because they need to read this, click on the button, fill out the Calendly form, add all of the information manually, answer some questions that we've got. Then if they are unsure about uh, Zoom being their preferred method of contact, they need to basically email us again to say, hey, I want to do FaceTime audio or I want to do WhatsApp audio. The quantity has now decreased, which means that less people are going through the flow, which also means that the quality has gone up because people that aren't necessarily interested aren't going to go through this entire flow uh, just out of curiosity because there's a lot of information that they need to fill out. I think if you want to go through this flow properly, you'd spend about 10 to 15 minutes reading all the information and filling out your details. So the quantity has decreased, which is obviously good for us. That's why I've added a tick here. The quality has increased because we pre-frame them on the front end. Um, also, the questions that we've added on Calendly are pre-framed as well. We ask them questions, for example, about their budget. So um, I think we, we basically start off with, is your budget, you know, a thousand a month, um, 2000 a month, 5,000, etc. So it starts at a thousand a month, which means that startups and stores that only have like a few hundred to spend a month won't book a call because not, it's not part of the multiple choice, right? So, you know, if they see that, okay, it starts at a thousand a month, then, you know, obviously they're not going to fill it out. And the information that they get is obviously much better now because the landing page literally explains everything they need to know about us and about what we can offer them in terms of our service. Now, this is all great, but how can we actually use this funnel to generate you know, 10,000 a month for the agency? Um, and for this, we've actually been using a um, sort of tracker with Excel. Um, so basically, we've got our daily tracker and that feeds information through to this little dashboard here. We are currently spending £65 a day on ads. Uh, we, we use pounds, no idea why. We've, we've set up the other accounts in pounds and we've just always done it that way. Um, so 65 times 30 is roughly 2,000. Our cost per click on average is 80 pence. And that means that, you know, if we got a cost per click of 80 pence with a 2,000 budget, we can generate 2,500 clicks. Our outbound CTR, so the basically the percentage of people that see our advertisements and click through to the landing page is roughly 3%, I think it's like 2.95 or something like that, which also means that 97% of the people that see our advertisements actually don't click on it, which sounds like a massive drop-off, but the percentage of like the average outbound click-through rate percentage on Facebook is 1%. So we are actually, you know, three times as good as the average, you know, in terms of conversion rate, um, three times more effective than most advertisements out there. But like I said, it's also because not everyone is qualified, right? We are not saying, hey, you know, free, free money or whatever. You can't say free money on Facebook anyway, but you know, it's not an advertisement that is for everyone. You know, we go very specific with the qualifications in the advertisement. Um, and that is why our outbound CTR is 3% rather than 10% or 20% or whatever like that. Then the landing page converts currently at 50%, which means that of the people, of the qualified people that we generate through this flow, still we've got a 50% drop off on the landing page. So that means that half of the people, they will see our landing page, realize that it's not entirely for them and they will basically, you know, remove themselves from this funnel. But that also means that 50% of of the people that go onto our landing page are actually interested and they'll continue with the rest of the flow. Then we've got a 35% um, conversion rate on the calendar page. So when they go from our landing page um, and on our calendar forms, sorry, then 35% of the people will actually fill out that calendar form, which again also means that we have a large drop off there. But the goal is not to get as many people through this flow as possible. The goal is to get qualified clients, okay? So 35% conversion rates on the calendar page, and then, you know, basically they land onto the thank you page, and on the thank you page, you know, as soon as people land on the thank you page, 90% of those people will actually attend the call. So we've basically majorly increased the amount of calls that we can generate by qualifying these people on the front end, 
and still, you know, still we get people book a call and then 10% of the people that book a call will drop off. But, you know, it, that's just the way it is currently. And we are, we are happy with that because we can work with that. You know, we just know one out of 10 people that book a call by going through this flow will still not attend, will still be tire kickers, etc. It's just, you know, it is what it is. Um, and then, like I said, our closing rate is 30%. So with these metrics and our 2,000 a month budget, uh, we can generate, it's actually not four, I think it's like three point something, 3.5. So we can generate roughly three to four clients a month with a 2,000 budget. Our retainer on average is 1,000 a month. So you know, with, with these metrics, we can generate a three and a half thousand um, pounds revenue with a 2,000 budget, which is a retainer on ad spend of 1.77. Now, first of all, that means it's profitable on the front end. But what you also need to remember is that these clients, this is a monthly subscription for these clients. That means that these clients will stay for us, you know, for a longer period of time, you know, longer than one month. Our average lifetime value currently with everything that's going on with, um, you know, obviously the pandemic, etc. Um, I'm going to have to find that exact color now. Which one is it? Is it this one? Yeah, it is. Okay. So our lifetime value currently is eight months. Let me just make that centered as well, otherwise my OCD will play up, which means that our return on investments, I'm gonna have to do all this again now. There you go. Return on investment is eight times the revenue. Uh, my apologies, I've done that wrong. It's eight times the revenue divided by our budget that we spent in the first place. Have I done that wrong? There was a problem, let me see. So, ah, uh, it's just, figured out what I've done wrong there. Let me just start again. So I'm not a entire, I'm not a guru when it comes to Excel, but um, I do know me sort of know my way around. So that's eight times so lifetime value times the revenue divided by the budget. I think that is how we've done it. Yeah. So as you can see here a fourteen thousand and seven fourteen hundred and seventeen return on investment over the eight month um, period. So over the eight months, what we'll actually generate is eight times the revenue is 28K just from this one month alone, okay? And what you need to remember here is that if you do this in month two, the clients that you've generated in month one will still stay because of that lifetime value. So that is basically how you can extrapolate what you're doing for your agency. So let's say, in month one, I'll just pan this up again. Let's say in month one, we spend uh, 2K on ads. By the way, if you, if you don't wanna spend 2K, you can spend 1K, you know, obviously the metrics will change, but you just need to figure out what is realistic for you in that moment in time. Because, you know, if, you know, like I said, the metrics for me are 2K in means um, three to four clients back. But for you, you know, you might be happy with just one client. if. You know, that means that you only need to spend 500 or 1,000, you know, depending on what your budget is. So for me, 2K spend means, let's say, three or four clients, yeah? Then, that's so that's month one. Month two, we do this again, so rinse and repeat. So 2K in means an extra three to four clients, but we've also still got the three to four clients from month one. So that means that we could have anywhere from six to eight clients in month two. With our retainer being 1,000 uh, a month on average, so 1,000 a month there, we do this for another month, spend another 2K, we get another three to four clients in, we still got the clients from month two, we still got the clients from month one, which means that we've left, we are left with either, you know, anywhere from nine to 12 clients a month, which like I said, is very close to our 10K a month goal. And that is how you basically need to see this. And that is how you can literally stop doing the manual outreach, look into paid traffic, start running ads for your agency and really you know, basically get up to those big numbers. Cause that is the goal for us for this year as well, is to break away from the manual outreach, to you know, break away from the email outreach, et cetera, which is very, very effective or has been very, very effective for us. But we now want to get to the point where we can actually scale this business. You know, we've got our niche, we've got our offer, we've got, we're getting great results for our clients. Now it's time to literally just blow this entire agency up and really start scaling this business. And like I said, the, for us, the most efficient way of doing this is paid traffic. Okay, so that is literally our flow from start to finish. 
And like I said, unfortunately, you know, you won't be able to see um, the advertisements by looking up the brand Paneer Facebook page because we no longer use that because like I said, um, <laughs> unfortunately, it is banned. So if you want to know like uh, what I say in the ads, um, what, you know, our landing page looks like, how we qualify um, all of our clients, you know, by going through this flow, etc., then what you can do is you can just send me a quick message on either Instagram, which is at Joshua Daniel George, or on Facebook, um, and I'll you know basically you know, see if we can help you out with your own flow for your agency, so that you can also get up and running. Uh, for those of you that have not already done so, what you can also do is check out our free Facebook group, where there's also a beginner course on how to get started, how to get your first few clients in without paid traffic, so that you've then got cash flow to invest into paid traffic to basically just flow up your agency as well. Um, that will be linked in the description box down below. But for now, I'm going to wrap up this video here. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got some out of it. If you're running ads for your AC as well, then uh, let me know in the comments down below. Subscribe to the channel for more, and I'll see you all in the next video.